Yo, 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 welcome to the Railcast. It's your host, DJ Real Life, aka Real Boogie. This is Boy Tall 305. Boy TJ back live in effect. What's going on? Wow, live in effect. The old 90s. Live man. in effect. <laughs> live in effect, huh? <laughs> Uncle Al style. Whoa. Rest in peace. Rest in peace, Uncle Al. He was gonna say on the, on the strength. <laughs> How y'all week going, fellas? Bless my brother. Happy, Happy to be here. Happy to be here. Here we go, man. So much energy. I feel it. <laughs> what, what about you, TJ? Uh, very excited. You know, very excited to be here today. We need a cheesecake. What kind of cheesecake is that? Ten for juniors. You know that's gonna do. Juniors is closed. Juniors are no longer here, by the way. <laughs> From cheesecake factory, the place you said it was better was in juniors. Out of your mind, you said that. Definitely, definitely, definitely. Out of your mind. What, what, what's up, TJ? What's going on? What's going on? We just, you know. Promoting the business and everything, um, okay. motivate Christ. Uh, stay tuned for that. But uh, what's going on? We'll see how everybody's doing today. You know, thanks for logging in and listening. I'm sorry, logging, but listening in to the podcast. Hope everyone having a wonderful day. And by listening in and logging in, you can do that on YouTube, DJ Real Life, uh, the Real Cast. You go ahead, right ahead, and uh, hit that uh, the subscribe button. That's on the side there. And- and, and subscribe and get all of the, uh, the new videos and, and, and when they're posted immediately and, and comment on the videos. It's my radio voice. <laughs> yeah, so that's what we talking about today. Tall, what's going on? Not much, man. You know, I got a couple of topics I want to target today. You know, what? Very, very important topics. What? It's been on my mind all week. Uh-oh. So I know today only Wednesday, but it's been on my mind all week. It's not about Walmart, is it? Uh, definitely. Well, you know, at, at Walmart, they, oh, here we go. they have all them employees just standing around, they ain't doing <laughs> nah, nothing. Nah, nah, it's nah, not nah, my nah, section. Nah, nah. Nah, nah. I'm sick of it. Okay, all right, no more. <laughs> not about eyelashes, is it? No, nah, I don't okay. really see too many of them in Walmart. Okay, what, what, what's, what's, what's the topic for today, man? What are you talking about? Number one, I want to say this hashtag, Black Excellence. I want to give a um, congratulations to um, this lady. Um, she won't, she the first black female. Did you just find that? No, <laughs> no, no. I, I mean, I wanted to. You know, Instagram. <laughs> yeah, I had to find it because I want to know. You know, get the lady name right. Let me get a shout out to her. First, oh, the first black woman to ever be elected for Congress in her cities, uh, Beantown, city of Boston. Beantown represent Boston. You know, so um, yeah. So she just you know, which is good. You know, we, even though we talk about so many. There's so much negative stuff in the world. It's good to, you know, say some some positive and no doubt. know how um, um, black women, you know, they moving, they changing, the game, changing the game up, and you know, doing different stuff that's positive in the world. No doubt. So hashtag Black Excellence. And again, shouts out to that young lady. Shouts out to uh, Beantown, Boston, represent. All right, uh, Tall, you was saying you wanted to get into. Oh, I'm sorry. Hold on, Tom. Sorry, the lady name. Oh. An- I'm sorry, sir. The, the, the lady's name is Annie Presley. Boston, look at her on Instagram. No shouts out to her. Any Presley praises to her. Alright. I got a question for you, gentlemen. Oh. Why do black people? No, black. It definitely ain't nothing like that, you know. <laughs> and to the females also. Oh, you know, how many of y'all females we love make sure y'all dudes are straight. Make sure he got breakfast, lunch, make sure his bills taken care of, make sure everything is straight. Why it always gotta be on the opposite side that a man makes sure you good, but you never make sure he good. Mm. You know, <laughs> fellas help me out with that. Man, TJ, you got that one. Well, put this on IG. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm a uh, some women. Hey, man, don't be tap dancing, Riley. Get right. No, to I'm it. telling you right now. I, I try to. Well, well, I try to go. They try their best. Yeah. Stop tap dancing, man. I try to go Come look on, at man. both sides. That's what I try to do. But women, some women might say, "What? Oh, we're not your mama." That's what they're gonna say. I heard that before. Or, not gonna take care of you, <laughs> stuff like that. But is it, make sure you talk. Is it about that? You not being your mom? No, it really ain't about them being your mom. It's about a a, 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 a partnership. I mean, relationship is a partnership. Word. Most of them don't think so. It's individual. They trying to win the MVP trophy. Mm. You know, it's all about them. You know, it's got to be a team. This is a team thing. It's a team relationship, me and you. Right. Ain't no I. So you feel like it's one-sided. Yeah, definitely one-sided. And, you know, they got their hands out every time they need something. You know. But what we need, son, you better find a way to get that money. Mm. You know, or, or that's too much. That, that costs too much. You don't want to choose something else. But let it come around Christmas or something. They mm-hmm. pull out the Louis bag. They want that Birkin bag. Oh, I want that Birkin bag, the yeah. red bottles. Yeah. But as soon as I say I want them new Prestos, $200. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> two hundred dollars. Mm-hmm. Or, or I want a new suit. Why? When you gonna wear that suit? That you only gonna wear it one time? That's true. When you gonna wear a suit at though? But you get what I'm saying. It's the I concept. Mean, yeah. I'm not gonna say all women, but no, I, I, I say all women. But I do. I, I do kind of agree with what you're saying. Um, it is kind of one sided. No, definitely. If you look at it, yeah. it is one sided. It's, it's not enough support. Um, in our favor. You read about that? You, you have. If you don't have it. You know, a, a chick on John Q the situation. You better go get it. Yeah. Like, how, like how that wife was, John Q wife. Yeah. I don't care how you get it. You better go get it. Yeah, yeah it's that situation. But if it's showing the other foot, they ain't gonna wanna hear that. Nah, they not. They don't wanna hear that. Go go out there and get it by any means. They ain't gonna, they ain't gonna wanna hear that. <laughs> so what what you, what you think is the answer? Man? Well, you know, we gotta sit down and you know, when you it, it first get into a relationship, you gotta make sure it's a partnership. You know, you gotta ask those those real questions. What are you really here for? What is your interest? What are your goals, your, your five-year goals? How your standards are? You know, I come to your house every day. You mm-hmm. might want to clean up, put everything in the closet so I don't see it. As soon mm-hmm. as I leave that stuff right back out on the living room floor, clothes on the couch, you know, your lifestyle might not be as clean as you, you pretend. So should you have standards? Like everybody should have everybody standards? Everybody should have standards. You know, you come to, you come to somebody's house, they need to clean up. You know, I don't want you to say, oh, well, stand by. I ain't home yet, but you in the, in the house trying to clean up. You t- oh, I'm in the shower. And you steady trying to rumble through your stuff to straighten up. Your house should already be nice and clean. So so what's the solution, TJ? What should we do about as far as being there, being one-sided, and not in our favor? Yeah, let's ask him that. Like, what, 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 what should we do? What's, what, no, I mean, what, not what should, what, what should we do, what should be the solution? How can it be... You know, it's a lot of equality. Equal. Yeah. It's a lot of equality talk going on out there. Exactly. So how can it be equal? I think the 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 number one thing you should do. All right. Well, you don't know, put God first. Number one, I'm always gonna say that. No doubt. Uh, but number two is if it's one sided, it's like this. Uh, you can't like if you get if it's one sided all the time. Eventually, the person is gonna leave you because they can't. You know, you always giving, 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 but you're not receiving, and you have to learn how to, um, I say, take care of yourself. Look at yourself first. When you look at yourself first and see you're wrong doing the stuff that you're doing, then guess what? Then you, the person, you'll be able to help the other person. You'll look out for the other person. You'll be like, okay, well, you know what? You know, I'm doing this, doing this. But a selfish person is not going to see it. A selfish person will be like, you know what? I'm going to keep giving, taking, 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 taking. But you ought to, but if you don't recognize the situation, right? And you stand in it, guess what? Well, you got to kind of blame yourself because you know what's going on. You're going to stay in a relationship that is one-sided. It's not right. Yeah. You know, but you have to go ahead and, you know, speak, communicate. That's the thing right there too. You got to right. communicate. Okay, you know, I, I feel this way. Is. I feel this way. Yeah. It's not happening. Right. So you can hear the other side of the person's story. It's two sides of every story. You should immediately come out and say, you know what? Not keep track of what you do, because that's corny as hell. I always say, if, you, if you're if you one person that keep track of what you're doing, you really don't mean what you're doing. It's not from the heart. You yeah. Know? So, But you got to have a conversation. Look, I don't feel like this relationship is equal. I feel like what I'm giving is not reciprocated back to me. Mm-hmm. Not, yeah. not that I'm saying... Um, I'm doing this to receive something back, yeah. but when I'm giving, I want to get that back the, the, Not from love. The yeah. mission is this right here. You, you know, you try to outbeat each other giving. Meaning that's right here is that if I'm if you're giving something, I'm giving something. Both of y'all giving, giving, giving. Both of y'all are happy. But sometimes I know it's not going to happen like that. Sometimes it's not like that. But I encourage people just try your best. Be yourself and right. try your best. That's it. As long as you be yourself, don't be fake. As long as you be fake. Guess what? Then you you were exposed. Yeah. It was a headache. You gotta, you know, people who tell the truth don't have to work that hard. But people who tell a lie gotta right, work extra hard. Mm. You, gotta, you gotta keep chasing that lie. You see, and <laughs> you don't want to do that. It's a headache. Yeah, yeah. As you get older, you know, we were young in our twenties or something like that. You talking to the girls, whatever. Yeah. You they lying, yeah. but you gotta keep up. You gotta keep that shivery up, knowing that you open the door, you open the car door all the time. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Hey man, and them lies become expensive. Yeah, oh, yeah. They definitely yeah, do. do, man. Um, but yeah, that's key, man. If you if you if you see something ain't right, you feel like you're being used and manipulated and all that. But let me ask you also, fella, what if it happened like at the beginning of the relationship? <clears throat> I meet you one month, whatever, things go good, things kicking off real good, we're going out a few dates. 
I started liking you, you started liking me. You know, we start opening up to each other. And then we turn around and I done paid for 30, 40 dates and I paid for everything we done did. But now, it's time for you, my birthday coming up and you want to shoot me a little CD. A little, <laughs> little, uh, uh, a CD ain't nobody Black, CD no Black Panther DVD. <laughs> <laughs> because that's all you can afford. It's the thought that counts. That's, that's what she going to say. But, yeah, but <laughs> we ain't trying to hear that in 2018. You're talking about thought that count. Buy me something that you think I deserve. You know, that I pre that that I would like and that I really need. Not something that you think I need. Most mm-hmm. women buy things that they think we need, not that we really want. Well, are we really concerned? I can speak for myself. Are we really concerned about gifts? No. Okay. We're not really concerned <laughs> about it, but at the same time, things are supposed to be equal. You get what I'm saying? But, uh, say 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 you live with somebody, they pay all the bills, 18 years or 20 years. Now they get their stuff together, they bam on you. First thing in the back of your mind, like I paid all the bills. That's damn. exactly what you're gonna say. I done paid all damn, the bills. I see your IG. Yo, Dame, my IG, what's up? Um, Dame just said 30 to 40 dates, then that's your fault. The yeah. <laughs> <laughs> homie Dame, man, she's real. But, but you know what? He's right. Like, it shouldn't. First and foremost, you know, the first dates, those are honeymoon phases. Yeah, so, that's, that's why I can date so hard. Yeah, if, if something goes wrong that early, you gotta speak on it then. Like, you gotta. You gotta Check that situation right yeah. there. Like, hold up, nah. but you don't really see it until you actually go to a place where, where nah, you feel uncomfortable. It. You see it. You see well, it. Like, if something ain't right, you gonna see it right then and there. Unless you just a sucker for love and you just call up from the beginning. Sometimes that's how we are. You know, we fall head over here for somebody we just met. Maybe, maybe you ain't go through nothing. But yet, level boy, you know what I'm saying? Level. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. So you know how that go. <laughs> Oh man! <laughs> so what you got, real? <laughs> as far as what, man? Topics, man. Man, um, I guess the whole what's homie name, man? The uh, Jeff, uh, El Elvin from the Cosby Show. I don't know yeah. his real name, Jeffrey. Let me find it. Jeffrey ahead. something. That's yeah. that's find his real name. But if you familiar with the Cosby Show, he was Elvin, uh, Sandra's husband. Yeah. Apparently, he works for. Uh, Trader Joe's mm-hmm. in Clifton, New Jersey. You know, and, and I, I, I'm i hearing, I don't know how true it is that it was a chick that it tried to expose him. I don't know how true it is. So it's this big whole thing about him. You know, why is he working at Trader Joe's? He's an actor. That whole thing. Well, you know, hey, he need a job. I'm just putting it like that. He's not a, a relevant actor. You get what I'm saying? He's, right. not, he's nobody up to date, you know. You know, Denzel and none of them big people. Right. But at the same time, he was in his past act, actor. You don't know how his lifestyle is and, uh, you know, mm-hmm. how much money he was making. You know, when you do a movie like that, you might get paid $200,000, $300,000, but then you actually might not do another movie for five or six years. <coughs> Jeffrey Jeffrey Owens is his name, by the yeah. way. So you know, about that. Jeffrey you Owens. You got rap artists that work at gas stations. Yeah. So, <laughs> and they, they sold platinum albums. You know what it is? This, we live in a world that um, you are just based on your income. Yeah, definitely. And it's not cool to have a regular job. So you get, it's crazy, you get frowned upon for having a regular job. You do. And this man, yeah, he was he was in Hollywood. He, you know, he, he did the Cosby Show, all the stuff. But people, people feel to realize that Hollywood stuff ain't for everybody. And maybe he was one of them guys saying, you know what, I did this and it's not for me. You even got uh, uh, Caucasian actors that's in the same boat we in, but they don't be scrutinized. No. Nah. They work at Walmart. That's why I say I think, I'm, I don't know how true it is. I'm hearing that it was a sister that, you know, tried it to could've been. It yeah, could've been. out there. I don't know how true it is or not, but, you know, to, to uh, try to shame a guy for working. You know, it, it's, it's crazy because if a guy doesn't work, he's a loser. Yeah. He's a bum. He's a scrub, you know, but the man is working, you know, and, and, it's, and it's a problem. But well, it was the status that he was at, and they see yeah. him all the time. So, like, you know, when, when you see somebody like that, you see on TV all the time, one of your favorite shows, and all of a sudden you see him working at, like, a grocery store, you're like, man, what happened? You know, but like you say, people think that because you're on television that you have money. Yeah. You know, so and once they life, see... Yeah. Life is glamorous. You have yeah, like a say... Oh, you can be set for life, but it's not like that. Right. Yeah, you know? I mean that 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 could have happened. If we, if we went to a store somewhere and we saw 
somebody who we grew up watching, mm-hmm. you know, we'll probably be shocked. I, I'm, I don't think I'm going to take a picture. No, no, no damn, damn well I'm not going to try to shame him for having a regular job. No, no, no. No, because this is what because this is the problem what is that be. yeah because the, the, see when you put these people on pedestals in your life right and then when you see them out in person and then like okay well then he was doing this he was doing that now he's doing this so you got to defame you got to but you got to understand this right here is that he he's a regular he's a person human he's a human being he's a regular person and that's what LeBron James was. I don't know if y'all seen the the barbershop. The yeah, shop yeah. thing, I didn't see it. But it's really good on HBO. I didn't see it, but what it was saying is that, well, Tom, you could talk about this, how uh, these people, these celebrities, you know, want to get treated like regular person, people, because, like, they out with their families. Guess what? Now, you come and take, want to take a picture, I want to do this, do this, but hey, I'm with my family. You know, you got to have respect. Right. A, a, a lot of them, you know, I understand what they're saying, because they want to take the planes and want to travel the world, and that's the only means of transportation they can do, go to public airports. You know, they, they can afford private airports, but they don't want their kids to be isolated from not seeing people. Hell, they don't want to they don't want to spend that kind of money all the time. Yeah, that's a lot of private money. jet. Yeah, but yeah. you know, I'm, I'm sure they, they take it sometimes, it's yeah, not often. But uh you know when, when you're at that status like LeBron James or whatever, everywhere he goes people want to take pictures. He can't he would never be a, a normal person. Mm-hmm. Where he can go to Walmart and just walk the aisles and, 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 and with his grocery cart by herself and just not be harassed by people. It's okay to take pictures, but sometimes they bombard them. Yeah. They, that's LeBron James and Walmart. Now they call all their friends. Now Walmart packed full of people. Right. But, Late night. But they know he's he's known since age seventeen. That's the life he chose. So, so he, he like once you're in that lifestyle, you know yeah, your some, privacy, like they said in the shop, your privacy and your fat like some of the stuff is you're gonna yeah, sacrifice. At the that. same time. I'm not entitled to take pictures a hundred no, times. No, no. You know, if I feel, if I'm in a place where I feel like, you know, it's okay for you to, to, to take a picture with me, then I'm going to take it. Right. But I'm not obligated to take a hundred pictures because hundred people inside the grocery store or wherever it's located at, uh, for me to take pictures with every single person in there. But that every single person don't know that and they don't understand that. Yeah, that's what I'm so trying to say. So they yeah. feel like, hey, you're, hey, I watch you on TV, I support yeah. you. You're obligated all, to take, spend, yeah, exactly. yeah, you're obligated to take this picture with me. I spent two hundred dollars for your yeah. shoes, so they don't they don't understand that. And what's what's bad about all this the, the job lifestyle and stuff? You know we, you know our, our culture endorses, you know drug dealers. Yeah, we praise them. We praise them. That guy that's sitting on the bench, that middle class guy who's waiting on the bus to go to work. He's he's a bum. He's a scrub. Shouts out to them guys. Fun. Shouts out to the blue collar guy. Yeah, I respect yeah. that guy more than some clown selling drugs. Me personally, I never liked the drug dealer. That's just my opinion. And we have to stop praising people based on their Terry. income. Because right yeah. now, but one of the richest men in the world is the president. That's what society do. We got we got society, to start doing that. Society look at you based on your car you drive, based on the, the house you live in, right? Based on the clothes you dress. I mean, mm-hmm. you have on. You know. Or the, or the wallet you have in your pocket, or your, your girlfriend, a white purse that she carries. Or little corny belts with the big letters yeah. on them. Yeah. I don't want to wear it. I think they, they, yeah, exactly. It's fake and it's corny. And I want to spend $150 on a belt buckle anyway. So I, 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 talked, I talked to one of the, you know, guys at my job. Wake up, man. You need coffee. And, um, Come on, you know. Give him some cheesecake, man. Nah, <laughs> you know, can put, put a soup cooler lips on that. Oh, pause. Whoa. Go ahead, go, go. But, but uh,. <laughs> But uh, so like you were saying, so, you know, people who have worship material things, right? If like you said, if you, if you have some fly thing like women, women see got a nice car, or automatically he got money, so they want to. All right, let me stop you there. Them. A lot of women look at that and they they they, they based. Oh yeah, I like him because he got a Mercedes Benz E Class. Yeah, that's a homeboy car. That's his old girl car. That's a sister. Oh, he got a boat. He borrowed that from somebody. He don't borrow my belt. To take you out on a date, and you glorifying that. Oh, you got a nice little outfit. That ain't his outfit. <laughs> I'm out of town. He, he house sitting for me. Now you look at my big mansion. He come over there. Oh yeah, he love big house. Let me give him some. That ain't his house. Even if it was though, that's the thing. Even if it was, if he's a jerk, he a jerk. You know what I'm saying? It don't, it don't matter what they he talk got. They because of their status. Yeah, yeah, but that's what they saying. want like, because they want to be on a, yeah. a status where yeah, that. But that's the thing. We, we we praise these people too much because of their status, and then and then personally they jerks. They are. They are. Just because you got whatever, 
You still can be a jerk. You just a jerk with money. Most of them are. Yeah. Most of them people, most of them people are the most unhappiest people in the world. That's why you see them killing themselves. Kate Spade, rest in peace. That's why you see them committing suicide, doing all yeah. crazy stuff. They're not happy. Because they make all this money. Robin Williams, rest in peace to him. Yeah. Their family members ask them for money. They get lawsuits everywhere. Mm-hmm. They've been then, harassed all the time. Yeah, and then what's even harder, you gotta work hard to maintain that success. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So twice as hard. They're more, they're some of the most miserable and unhappy people in the world. So the course and raises is being famous worth it? No. I don't think I, I don't think per- personally. Well, it depends on who you are as a person. Because if you a regular human being that's, you know, came from nothing. You're going to be more humble than somebody who grew up with it. Mm-hmm. You get what I'm saying? Because you know how it is to, to, to not have. And then when you actually get the million dollars, you're going to hold on to it like you ain't never had it before. You're going to buy a house or car, but all that money is not going to go out your pocket because you ain't never had that much money. So let me ask y'all something. Who's the co-owner of, like, who's the owner of Apple? I don't know. Who's the owner of Microsoft? I don't know. All right. Who's the owner of Nike? I don't know. Uh, Phil Knight is the, is the owner of Nike. Okay. Them guys, I would say, if I had money, this is what I want to be. You, you would know me. I won't be so popular like that. But I'm making LeBron James money or more money than these guys. You see what I'm saying? Because I'll be in the background collecting money versus and put all the other people out in the forefront getting all this attention, but on the background make, making money. So like you like you had seen, um, what's your boy name? Uh, you seen it at the mall. 163rd Street Mall. It's 163rd Street or... You in 163rd Street? Fashion Island? Where yeah. are you going? He's no, way back. You know what I'm talking about? When you seen the guy, you, you didn't know who he was? I mean, he she knew who he was, but he, he had a little Jaguar or something you were saying. Oh, oh, that was in Aventura. Aventura was, Mall. Cal- Calvin Klein. Calvin yeah. Klein, yeah. yeah. You don't know, but they got money. Like, for instance, talk seen another basketball player. You don't know, but they dressing... And you don't know. Yeah, I but, always see them. Yeah, but you they play you playing the background. And this is what they do. You wanna own your own stuff. You play the background, put people out there, and you making all the money. And this is what's going yeah, on. But some people can't play that background role. They gotta build the upfront because they never had that popularity. Yeah, fame, yeah. fame, 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 fame is the biggest drug in the world. Yeah. yeah. So a lot a lot of these people, they, right. they they were lonely, they were bullied, they were nothing. So when they get that money, it's like, I got money now, so I'm gonna try to get everything I can. Fame is one of it. Yeah, yeah. Stepping you know, people in the back, stepping on toes just to get ahead. Yeah, I'm gonna get that girl who I always wanted, I can never yeah. get, now I'm gonna get five girls like that. Yep. Yeah. So that's exactly what they do. So what you guys think about the uh, the Colin Kaepernick ad from well, Nike? So not, uh, supposedly, well not supposedly, actually it's happening um, ever since Colin hasn't been in the NFL, Nike still has been uh, uh, paying him. Yeah. Wow. Do you, do you know that? So he's apparently getting his own, you know, yeah. uh, clothing line and shoe deal and everything with Nike. I'm not. What you guys think I'm about I'm still going to be wearing Nikes. Yeah, they have a, uh, a boycott going on. Yeah. A lot of white people are, are burning his clothes. Uh, his, uh, not his, but Nike shoes. They're burning shoes that they pay $29 boycott. for a $15. You don't see nobody burning no, no uh, uh, vapor maxes. No, nah, ain't nobody... Uh, burning no phone positives. Exactly. Like that, you know? they, 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 mm-hmm. they, the shoes that are being burned are old redneck shoes that yeah. they went to the doctor's office. It's nothing new. Yeah, they, they, they definitely not burn, burning no shoes. Nah, they, it's Air Force Ones, they not burning nah. them. Old they, cookout they, shoes, they, huh? Yeah, old, old cut the grass shoes. Yeah, shoes yeah. you buy at car, a shoe carnival. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but how you guys feel about the, uh, the, the I guess, quote unquote, uh, little punk, little boycott that's going on? Well, I, I, you know, I stand up. He's a stand up guy. So I kind of, you know, roll with him. But uh, all that burning shoes, I'm not gonna do that, you know. But he, he's a, he's a stand up guy. He he, he him. lost a lot of stuff, a lot of endorsements, and a lot of other things that he lost due to his beliefs. Right. And uh, you know, I respect him for that. Yeah, yeah. Nike, yeah Nike could have easily exactly, exactly. Uh, gave up on him. If you know Nike, Nike has a history of, of sticking with their controversial athletes, Kobe Bryant, Tiger Woods. If they believe it, and even starting LeBron James, yep. paying him $90 million out of high school and never stepped foot on the NBA court. Like, they're going to stick behind yep. the athletes. Yep. So how you feel about that? Well, it, it, yeah. they're a giant, but, you know, I guess you can't really affect the giant. 
Because, you know, this is what's pushing. All right, let me tell you something. I'm be honest with y'all. Be honest. We want you to. Yeah. Why would they? How, how yeah. could, look, I don't care how many. <laughs> you wearing a motivational Christ shirt and hat. You going to lie? Let me tell you something. I'm moving out of the way because I don't want to get hit by lightning. I don't, yeah. I don't care how many people boycott Nike. You got to understand this. There's so many white, rich, white people have stock in Nike. They're not going to jeopardize their money and try to boycott. It's not going to happen. You see what I'm saying? <laughs> I'm trying to tell you, it's real talk. It, you're not, it's not going to happen. There's too much money in Nike that people got to invest in. They probably got their pension check invested in. Not even that. It's just, we, we put Nike where they at. You, I say exactly. We, I mean, our community is the one that, you know, that, that put Nike where they at. Like, okay, but I just, I seen um, online that last year Michael Jordan made three, $300 million last million. year. Three hundred million dollars last year. Whoa! You said three hundred? Three hundred million dollars. Three hundred million dollars last year. Michael Whoa. Jordan. I think I got the name of this podcast. Thirty hundred. Look, three hundred million dollars. I was trying to get it right, but it's three hundred million dollars that he made last year. How you made three hundred million dollars last year, but you can't do that for the black community? He does do things for the black community. So yeah. shoes. We all come together to buy his shoes. That's what we do. Everybody come together. Everybody come do, together. Do we do we know that he doesn't do anything for the black community? No, we don't know that. That that's the thing. Like, okay, he said that you know the thing about Republicans buy shoes too, and he does invest in jail cells and all that. But can we say that he doesn't do anything for the black community? No, we can't really say that. Can't say that. Can we say that LeBron is more? Outspoken and more for the people no, than Jordan. I think we can. How do you figure? How do you figure? Because he's more willing to speak about social issues. Yeah. He's not scared. He, well, what changes have been made when he's speaking? Nothing has changed. Well, it brings people who look oh, up to him I'm more s- aware of what's going on. Here you go. I'm sorry. What did that say? You read that, sir. It says Michael. That's like this is a bird move. I don't like looking at people. No, I'm not, it's not a bird. This is, I'm telling. I'm speaking facts. This is facts. I mean, yeah, it says Jordan's net worth is three hundred and fifty million, but it doesn't say. It doesn't. What you said? What, what did you say? You said? I, I, it was three hundred million. I seen it online. No, but what, what did you say? Though? Thirty million. Thirty hundred million. Thirty hundred million. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it doesn't say thirty hundred. <laughs> okay. <laughs> but but what does it say? Put it. What does it say now, now sir? Your screen is black. I don't know what it says. But it said it, it, he made three hundred and fifty million. That's yeah, his net worth jumped three hundred and fifty million to one point. So he's a billionaire. Billion. He's a billionaire. Yeah, because we buy our shoes. That's right. Good. So the boycott is not going to do anything. And and what's crazy is, you know, the reason he did the anthem was you know because of what's going on to young black men. Yeah. They insist that it's disrespect to the flag. But if they care so much about the veterans and the flag, they would instead of burning those shoes, you would donate those shoes to. Vets who, who don't have clothes and shoes. So why do you, you care about it? Why don't you give them the, the shoes and the clothes? They're not going to do all yeah. that, man. Right. So, so that means you really don't care. So, so let me ask y'all something. Let me uh, ask you something. Put y'all in a little situation. Okay. If it's like a... Like a, like, a, like, a, like a mentor. I'm going to put y'all in a mentor. Like a, <laughs> like a mentor situation, you know. Anyways. Put y'all in a little scenario. So what if, you know, uh, a black young man come to you who sell drugs, right? Mm-hmm. And he has no, I'm for real. And he has um thirty hundred million. No man, <laughs> yeah, yeah, come on, man. <laughs> I'm here, come on, for real, I'm trying to help somebody right yeah, now. So, so guess what? And he's like 21, 22 years. Well, I'm sorry, okay. at 25, 26 years old, right? Yeah. And he have a record, whatever, whatever. Okay. And you know he got to pay rent, and he tells you, I can't find a job. You know, nobody's not hiring me because of my record, right? Okay. And he says to you, well, it's either I'm going to sell drugs or I'm going to lose my apartment and I'm not going to be able to feed my family. What do you tell this person? You got to do what you got to do. You, you tell me you do what you got to do? You got to do what you got to do. How, how I'm going to tell you to go find a job and you already got a record. So you already know you can't find a job. So what's the use of me explaining to you to go find a job? You know, I appreciate you coming back. <laughs> I totally I need a job. You know, I mean, I mean, you can you can preach to somebody all you want. What to do you about, preach to somebody but, if they're not going to put foot and say, you know what, this this place is not where I want to be at? 
I want to find a job. I got to stay back with my mama till I find a job and get myself together. That's what he need to say. Mm-hmm. All that, well, I got to pay rent, get my money, how I live and all this. We all got to do the same Come on, man. thing. We all got to work. You know, uh, get it how I live. Well, you're going to be right back. Yeah. What you, <laughs> you, that, that's your mentality. That's You're going to come right back. I appreciate it. Yeah, man. You can, you can talk to somebody blue in the face. Of course, you, you want to give them options of, to not go out there and go on the, you know, go on the streets, but... They they're not gonna listen, man, because they're easily influenced by their partners, mm-hmm. their players, they 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 uh, uh friends, mm-hmm. so called friends. Oh, Tyrone got a good job and he he got a record. That don't mean you get you gonna get lucky like that. Mm-hmm. Everybody's situation different. I got a lot of friends that's convicted felons that they got good jobs, mm-hmm. but at the same time, every one of them is a different occupation. They're not in the same occupation. Some of them got their own business. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Some of them got their own business. Some of them work for people. But at the same time, they didn't keep coming in and out of jail. They ain't serve drugs. They ain't keep breaking the people's houses and doing negative things. Oh, he came. He came and did something different yeah. when they when they uh, got yeah. out. Yeah, definitely. Cool. That's that's what you want to do because you yeah. don't want to go back in. But then if he got to come and, and tell you about, oh, I gotta do do what I gotta do. That means he's not ready. That means his mind is already set. That's what I'm saying. He's yeah. not ready. He he's trying to get something fast. Yeah. Quick money. You can tell him, hey man, you need to try this or try that. You wasting time. Yeah. You wasting time. Sometimes you, you, you try to help people and you end up frustrated trying to help people. <laughs> you get what I'm saying? You talking to your 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 eyes turn red and you just so tired of talking yeah. to this dude and you ain't get no point across. So you've been talking to him for two hours and you're still on the first topic. You yeah. wa- you wasting three hundred thousand million <laughs> yeah. minutes. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> you, you, you that. Million. But <laughs> but um yeah, the, the 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 cap ad was a was a great uh ad. It said believe in something even it means sacrificing everything. And if you haven't checked it out, he it, uh, Nike has a new commercial with him narrating in it. And okay, let it's, me ask, it's a great commercial. Let me ask you something else. Somebody asked me this question the other day. Do you think a regular Joe Blow, well, even a, a rookie that mm-hmm. came into the NFL would do what he do that haven't made money? I don't no, think so. No. He's already financially stable. So he's already good in the financial department. Yeah. But a new NFL candidate who just signed a contract to the NFL would never be in that category. No, he's not. Because gonna, he's going to stand up and be. He's going to be a good, old, boom, he's a good old boy. You see what I'm saying? Because he ain't established himself yet. He got a contract, but it ain't no big time contract. No, yeah. he don't. But the thing is, do we need him to do that? We don't need that rookie to do that. We need big name guys like them to do that. Like, yeah, yeah, what these right. guys fail to realize, if. Let's just say, hypothetically speaking, it probably would never happen because they don't have no heart. If Beckham sat down, if Peyton Manning, if Antonio Brown, if Aaron Rodgers, if all these big name players they're, they're listen. sat down listen. for one game and didn't play, they're listen. that speak volumes. That changes mm-hmm. everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The NFL see that and be like, you know what? Damn, we got to take this seriously. Yeah, yeah. And then they'll have, you know, like they did before, the replacement <laughs> players. When they came in and tried to fix it, the NFL turned the crap. Yep. You got to hear us now because now our big name players are, are not generating they money win. to the NFL. Right. Y'all losing money by us not playing. Yep. So the rookie guy don't need to sit down. Yep. It's, the, it's the big names who got to do it. Yep. But, but they, these guys are heartless and they cowards. So they're not going to so, do it. So, but this is, look, now, suck, remember man. what I said? What are you, let's say these black athletes that stop playing in the NFL, mm-hmm. you don't want to play no more. Mm hmm. You don't think that they can start their own league? They can, but they're not going to do that. Okay, wait a minute. I'm glad you said they're not going to do it. They're not going to do that, right? Yeah. But this is what I'm saying. Look at the big three. Mm-hmm. Big three is now coming pretty large now, man. Yeah, it, 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 is. it is. But you don't think LeBron James on black Let's say all the black people nah, drop out of the NBA. They're not going to do that. Are they, they not going to do it? <laughs> but. You know you know who had that before? Uh, what happened? Oh, uh, what's the name? The right WWE, all the boy had no, 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 XFL, something like that. The ABA. The ABA, that what it was. The ABA was kicking the NBA butt, and what happened? NBA grabbed Dr. J, grabbed Kareem and all them boys, and brought them to the NBA. Cause the money. Not only just the money, they was coming for their neck. It was more exciting than the NBA. The NBA was trash. But you know the thing about it is that they're dealing with retired NBA players, not yeah. current NBA players, right? Because in their contract, they can't play in other basketball leagues. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? So they got 
players that no longer play. So it's like kind of like a, a recreation type ordeal. They getting paid, but it's recreation. It's a good idea, but yeah, they're well, not gonna what, start their own league. What they need, LeBron and Kobe, they're not gonna do that. They don't need. They don't need to do it though, because mm-hmm. the NBA is is not the NFL. <clears throat> LeBron, when he's done, he need to have his own team. That's what you need. You need more of them in the office yeah. to get their own teams. But you know how that works? They have like a little panel where they got to vote for the, the the owner to be in office. They would, they they would can, definitely vote him in. They probably will, but like I said before, uh, I think Master P would have been a good owner. They, they didn't put him in there. He had the money. Nah. What you mean, nah? He was financially able to support the whole team by himself. He but didn't you, know him. But you think the NBA would want Master P in there? No. Oh, that's they my point. And who's who choices? He's a good businessman, but, but what about who other choices people is that? Huh? What huh? about other people? They, who choices is that? Or who made the decision they don't want him in? Not from, the, not from the break. All is up right now. Watch. Who, 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 choice? Just, who choice was that? That Master P came? The league. The, the league. Wait. The other 29? Uh, yeah, yeah, okay, yeah, wait, yeah, wait. No. The panel. Yeah. Okay, now. Let me explain yeah. something to you first. It's a panel. All mm-hmm. the owners sit on a panel and vote for somebody to be in there. Yeah. Mm-hmm. He, most mm-hmm. owners are co-owners. They got a partner with them. Right. Mm-hmm. He wanted to purchase the whole team by himself with no support. Which he, which he could have done yeah. financially. Yeah, by himself, which never been done before. He wanted to do that back then, back in the days. Right. He was the owner of the entire team. Mm-hmm. All stocks go to him. But they they voted him no. Yeah, because he had no say so. And you don't have no say so. Not no say so if you're not really. No, no, because yeah, he had. Not, no, you're asking to get in. Yeah, 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 yeah no say so, right? <laughs> now let's talk about this. You need we, permission. Right. We went back to the ABA. Mm-hmm. Keep in mind the capital that we have at, as black people wasn't making that much money now. What we at financially, what we what black people at in America now financially, we have enough. We have enough athletes, enough entertainers, enough a lot of people that we can come together as a black people to establish our own basketball league, football league, everything. Yeah. But if you have that mindset of like you know what we can't. The NFL, something, something like that. Well, they've been for a long time, and you know we can't do that because players want players won't go over here. No, if you buckle down, we have it. They're not gonna do that, man. I know they're not gonna do it, but I'm just they're not gonna do it. We are we are stopping that. Right. They're not gonna do it. Nobody's not gonna do it. They're gonna stay. Everybody gonna stick to normal court. Everybody gonna go to NFL, NBA. Nobody ain't gonna think outside the box. Nobody's not gonna do it because you know why? Because people ain't gonna come together. Nobody ain't gonna be like you know what? I'm gonna sacrifice this whole thing. Just to go and have yeah. our own that, and that, own it. That too, people not gonna do They're it. They're not gonna and, do it. And the NFL, you know, statistically is the number one sport in the world. So if if they were to do that, it would take forever. The thing is, it would take forever to, to, yeah, to, to develop. Be, yeah. It's so NBA, it, what does it, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter how long it takes. Another NBA league. But no, it doesn't. No, it they're doesn't matter how long it takes. They're not gonna do none of that. With I, they not, yeah, they not gonna do it. But. Until you stop saying they're not going to do it. I can say right now and say, you know what? Dang, we're doing right now. It ain't going to make take forever. So we're not going to do it. No, no that's, that's, that's not a different. It's not different, dude. It, it, it's something. No, it is something. Let me tell you how it's different. Podcasting is fairly new. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Podcasting has been around maybe 10 years, which is still new. NFL has been around how long? <laughs> I don't care how I don't care how long something been around. Yeah, you have to start somewhere. But if you don't start somewhere, I don't care. I, I, if I, you know what? What if I say this right here? Microsoft, Microsoft, right? They've been around for a long time. What if Google said the same thing? They've been around for a long time. So you know what? We ain't gonna do nothing. We don't want to start our own company. Cause Google been around for you no. Know, Microsoft been running things. Apple been running things. Now look at Samsung. They started for nothing. It doesn't matter how long something been there, but you got to... Samsung always had something. Had something, but <laughs> they have been a... Dude, Apple been for, for Microsoft been out for... I mean, what? Apple, Mac been out for a long time. But if you want to start your own company, but, guess okay. what? Apple was I trash, can't... right? Apple it was. was trash. So who was the powerhouse back then? Who What other the computer system did they have? It was, okay, it was, it was pretty much just, Mic- just um, Microsoft. It was probably just Microsoft, I mean. It took a long time. Apple was an afterthought when it was called Macintosh. They would get laughed at. Yeah. They was the bottom of the barrel. It took Steve Jobs to turn that company around, but it took forever. 
Okay. Not to say some of the stuff is impossible, but when you have a, a giant, a powerhouse, it takes time. It takes dedication. It takes what he did, Kaepernick. It takes yeah. sacrifices. Again, like you said, people have to come together. Us in the community, we're not known to come together. Exactly. It can be selfish. But like I said, but even if we did come together, you're dealing with a powerhouse. That's okay. David and Goliath. And it, would, it would take a long time and to it's overthrow fine. the NFL. And it's fine. NBA, you know why it's fine? NBA, you don't need to overthrow the NBA because the NBA, they're with us. Yeah, it's predominantly, it's predominantly black men. But at the same time, the owner's not black. Yeah, that's what we need. And who's getting all the money? We need more owners. How many, I mean, you something. Tell you, uh, you, you can say, guess what? And just like in the job field and everything, how many people bring their family members in now? Bring their family members in. Bring their family members in, in jobs, NBA. It goes down the line. You rarely see you make people uh, come in the NBA, but mostly you see people the same name, uh, yeah, big star. Family they bring their family in, the same thing. You know, you don't keep the thing going. But I, all I'm saying is right here. We're not going to have too many black owners. Just put it like you, that. You're not going to have too many. But that's the thing. We need more. Yeah. But it's not going to happen until yeah. we start owning our own stuff. True. We have to own our own stuff because we don't own our own stuff. We all have to go to the board and see if they're going to let us in. Forget the board. You be the board. You got to go through the board to get what you need. I'm saying, but yeah, you have to. Certain, certain things you do. Yeah. That's what you saw what happened in Black Wall Street back in the day. But that's Black Wall Street. Wall Street. <laughs> you own your own <laughs> stuff. When you own you. When they, they own their own stuff and they burn it down. Okay, <laughs> but at the same time, hey, look, you got to get your <laughs> own. Be your own boss. Listen, up, be your own boss. Yes. Be, yes uh, you we, if, you, if you your own boss, you never unemployed. We, Put it like we, that. We totally agree. If you have the opportunity to be your own boss, yes, be your own boss. But you have to strategize and analyze the whole situation before you can just say, "Hey, I want to be my own boss." You have to have a plan, especially yeah. going against these, going going with these white folks. Yeah, going against them too. Them too, because you want that support from them, and we have me, me, me mentality. Yeah, and that's what hurt us. That's what hurt us. And this, this is why I was telling some of these guys, like, look. Yeah, I'm fighting against each other, but you know, people from other countries come over here and look at you, look at us as black people fighting against each other while they moving up. They helping each other, but we fighting against each other. Say, so, you know what? Let them go in and fight. You know how it is to to go to another country and you see the people living that um, country um, fighting against each other. It's easy to take over. Yeah. All right. Well, so, you know, we we are uh, we are the only race that have beef with each other because of the way somebody looked at you. Oh, he looked at me. Crazy, he sized me up. He sized you up. What kind of fools is that? He sized you up. He looked at you. So you want to fight him and kill him, our own brother, because he looked at you. Mm -hmm. He looked at you crazy. Well, mm -hmm. I don't know what's up with that. Yeah, he sized me up. So I killed him. But do you even know him? But do you think that's pressure? Let me ask y'all something. Do you think that's pressure from your friend and stuff like that to, to say something? No, sometimes no, no, no. They, they just... I call it the pit bull uh, 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 aggression. Because as soon as you see something that out of the norm, you already want to attack him. You don't know what that brother might say. That brother might say, oh, that's a nice pair of slacks you got on, nice shirt you got on, whatever the case may be. He, he might, he, hell, he might yeah. know you. Yeah, you see what I'm saying? You <laughs> might look familiar, but he can't quite get your name right. right. <laughs> so you really don't know what the situation is, but you want to harm that brother because he looked at you? He took a glance at you? You want to hurt him? <laughs> Come on, man. That's, that's, that's mind boggling to me. And man. another thing, too, you get to a certain point when you're in your 30s, you can't be acting like you're hard. You can't be, if, if you never was that, <laughs> yeah. even if you was, when you get to your 30s and, and mid 30s and close to your 40s, it's time to chill out. Like, you can't sit there and fight everybody, all that being gangsters and hard stuff. That's when you're supposed to chill out when you're in your 30s. Stop trying to still be a young boy out here being reckless. Yeah, you <laughs> Calm down, man. Take care of your kids and, and, and you know, Watch some Netflix. Don't you sit up there. You wear saggy pants and, and, and nightgown t-shirts <laughs> in your 30s and 40s. Don't that just play it out. Stop trying to be a gangster, man. Yeah. Take care of your kid and, and sit down somewhere, man. When is it too, 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 uh, when's too old to be wearing Cuban link chains? I don't know. Cuban links never go out of style. Though. Oh, you could be 50 with a Cuban link? I don't know. He's talking about select a few. That's listen, one person. Man. Listen, man, when you're getting old, the face, it is time to have <laughs> Don't talk. We about. got great all on your face. Just put it down.
Yeah, you start looking like a grandpa, man. Don't wear no whole bunch of jewelry. What about in your forties and fifties? You still wear pull out goals? Nah, you should. <laughs> yeah, go, go and stop. Yeah, you need to stop that, man. Next question. Next question. <laughs> Next question. Um, when is the uh, uh, you know, the age requirement to put rims on your car? Like, should you be in your forties and fifties? People still put rims on their car. Yeah, they put twenty eights and thirties on their car. They still got systems. Yeah, they ride with systems. They're fifty years old. When, bro? All over the place, bro. They day. You should that. not be in a box Chevy at no fifty years old. That should yeah, be just man. done with. <laughs> hey, why people about like why people, why people try to portray the car? Like people in box Chevys want to be gangsters. Why? That's just people, the way it is. People man. drive charges, gotta drive fast and yeah. Mustangs. Yeah. You know, and the and you got you got the baby mama car. What's the baby mama cars? Civics. <laughs> Civics. Corolla. Nissan, Nissan, Nissan Moreno. Nissan Moreno. Yeah. A black Nissan Moreno is a baby mama car. Yeah. Top of the list. Definitely. Yeah, if you got a Nissan Murano out there, why like, y'all get the same color car? You baby mama. Yeah, all of them, the same color car. You yeah. right about that. And Altimus. Yeah, Altimus. <laughs> the two-door Altima. <laughs> two-door Altima. Yeah, two-door Altima. You got three kids, but you got two-door Altima. And the Malibus. Yeah, the white one. <laughs> No. <laughs> 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 a baby mama. <laughs> Yo. a, a white one. Oh shoot! There's certain things that cross my mind, you know. Yeah, I think about that all the time, man. It should be some some restrictions on certain things. Bro. You know, you just you just walk the mall and just see people in their fifties and sixties, you know, still wearing Timberlands. Come on, dude. Yeah, man. I have a restaurant front question. Oh, go ahead. It made something. Do you think it's right for the waitress to flag you down if you don't if you didn't give a tip? What? What restaurant you went to? That don't flag. Ain't never happened to me. It happened. What, it happened before. What, well, the thing is, let me let me explain something to you. I think that if she black, no, she no, 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 I ain't finna answer that black. <laughs> I ain't finna answer no black question. The thing is, when you go to a restaurant, sometimes you go into an establishment, you looking at your coins. You know, you might not have enough to tip her $10, 20 dollars. Okay. But at the same time, leave her something if the the service is good. You know, if the service is horrible. You leave it according to what you feel like, but if the service is good, yeah, you leave a you know a couple of more dollars because it's excellent service. She was real friendly, really helpful, and she was attentive to to what you need. Mm -hmm. But sometimes you go to places where you don't see the waitress. You go no. in, there, you wait twenty minutes for real and for a cup of water. Yeah, then she come back fifteen minutes later with the, with the uh, uh, can I take your order? Right. Then she take your order, you don't see her for half an hour. It don't even be busy, be like, damn, what, what she went on break or yeah. something? She taking a smoke break? Then she bring <laughs> your food, and then you don't drink all your little drinks, now you need yeah. a refill. <laughs> you don't see her for another 20 minutes, you gotta ask somebody else. So how you feel I should be tipping you what, what you think I should be tipping you if you're not rendering no service to So them? has it been a time where you had bad service, either one of y'all, mm -hmm. and, 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 and you left and you left nothing? Denny's? I went to Denny's one yeah, time. The one by, by the stadium? No. Nah. Uh, yeah, don't, <laughs> hey, don't go there. I've been there before. Oh, I, I went there before, but yeah, no, nah, not that one. I went, to, I went to another Denny's. I left a penny. <laughs> oh. Because I'm over there, you know, trying to have a nice little breakfast. A Grand Slam special. Grand yeah. Slam. And then. That's the old people hang out. The, the, the waitress come. She got two tables. She's sitting down talking to the other people while I need help. Did you get okay. a senior citizen to help me? I definitely did. But. <laughs> I bet you did. She wasn't. She. She. Wasn't there to, to fill my drinks up, give me my condiments and everything else I needed. She yeah. wasn't there. Was she black? No. Whoa. She so, wasn't black? No. Nah. So I had to ask other waitresses wow. that was walking by, uh, can I have some ketchup? Can I have this? Can I have that? And at the end, I asked for my, my uh, check. Mm -hmm. And I just left a penny there. Because that's what kind of service <laughs> she provided. She would provide, what did she do for me? Yeah. I had to ask the other waitress for, for drinks. You're generous. The other person brought my food, so she wasn't there to, to do anything for me, so why would I tip her? Yeah, I've been in situations where I just left nothing. Not a lot, but if I, like, it, I left I, one penny. I left nothing. Like, it's been a situation where I need to catch up or something, I had to go get it myself. That's what I'm trying to tell you. Yeah, and I just leave nothing. Yeah, you if you're okay, I'll leave you a couple of dollars if you're okay. Yeah. If you're good, I'll leave you more than a couple of dollars. Yeah. But I normally tip $10 or $20, you know, that's just yeah, a basic, okay, that's, okay. a basic. All right, all right, I'm not willing. The reason why I do that, if the service is good, and I know how hard they're actually working to 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 help me out. You're in, and, a, different, you're in a different task right now. Well, that, you know, hey, <laughs> I'm able to help somebody else out. You right, know yeah, saying? I mean, so, it, that, it, that's how I look at it. Yeah, there's nothing wrong with it. You know, my blessings always there. I'm waking no up doubt. in the morning, so. No doubt. You know, I don't look at money like, oh, I'm, I'm just, buy whatever I want to buy, yeah. I look at it like I can help somebody else out. Where? 
You know, a lot of people are not in that, that situation where they can help somebody else out. Right. So. I got, I got, that's good. I got a question of the night. Okay, go ahead. Who you guys feel like um, is the best performer? Um, out of Beyonce, because she, you know, she was just here. Out of Beyonce and Michael Jackson, who's the best performer? I like Michael Jackson. I went to one of his shows. We well, did? It. You did? Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. That's good. Yeah, oh, yeah. Yeah, okay. Why, yeah. why you say, who you think, TJ? I ain't been to neither one of them. I ain't been to neither one, but I'd probably say Michael Jackson, probably. <laughs> why y'all say Michael Jackson? Well, I've been Elaborate, to show, please. And I've also been to his hologram show in Vegas. Okay. The, 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 thing is, the thing is... If you went to the hologram show, you didn't really see him then. No, you see like a hologram of him. But he's not alive, though. He's not really alive. I thought you went. No, no, no. I ain't really go. So to you didn't really see. He lied. <laughs> but, but those, but those, those holograms is a set up concert. It's a concert where all him doing is, is uh, people dancing. It's, it's a real live concert. But it wasn't him, though. I thought you saw him as a kid. No, but I didn't see him as no kid. I saw him on TV <laughs> as a kid. I didn't say as no kid. Same thing. So, you know, it's the same thing. You get what I'm saying? So, I, I think that, you know, Michael Jackson is a better performer to me. But but what makes him a why do you feel like he's a better performer? I I feel like it, you know um, Marvin Gaye. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. Only two people. No 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 two people. I'm sorry. Well, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to make a point. I feel they had to work extra hard. Who? Um, Who? Like Michael Jackson. You know all the people back in the day versus now. Like what? they got more stuff. They have more like flashes and wait, wait, all wait, that stuff. Wait, like, you do it. Oh, okay. I can you know what I'm saying? saying? Like they have more like uh, props yeah, yeah. and stuff like that. You know, that thing just go on stage and you know they had to perform. You know, stuff like that. They help somebody. Do? They yeah, yeah, that's yeah. Um, you know, but, uh, they have more big streams and all those stuff. Yeah, they, 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 I, I get what you're saying. I, they, I agree they, with that. They didn't have you know? all that stuff back in the day, yeah. so they did have to work extra hard. And that's yeah. why I say, when Michael jo- Michael Jackson did his performance, he in and out the crowd. You don't yeah. really see Beyonce running through the crowd. Uh, this and that, like a, uh, she stayed right on stage. She don't run in the crowd and join the people and, and, and you know have everybody crunk up and you know singing along and crying like they do at a, a Michael Jackson concert. They be crying at Beyonce. It's uh, getting ridiculous. Uh, not, not at a Michael Jackson concert. You know? I mean, you talking about like the, he, he's the king of pop. Exactly. I, mean, I think people fall out. Dude. Yeah, it's but ridiculous. I mean, like, I, I, come on now. Like, okay, well, let me ask you a question too. <laughs> I'm a fan of Mary J. Blige. I think Mary J. Blige is a better performer than Beyonce. To my opinion. Are you serious? I'm what, what, serious. What, why would you say that? I just like her. I think she's the queen of, uh, of pop. I, I mean, mean, she's 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 the queen, she's of, a, she's, she, she's the queen of hip-hop and R&B. That's what she is. Yeah. But you, but what did she do better than Beyonce? Because Beyonce, it be, it's not really be honest. better. It's not, nothing real better. The thing is that Beyonce mm-hmm. has Jay-Z. So she has a more more of a, 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 a bigger genre. She got the rap she, music and she got the R&B. Nah, she bigger than Jay, man. I understand that, but he bring out a crowd too. Yeah, but Mary J. Blige she's doing that by more herself. popular than you. Know, I'm a big Jay fan, but she's more popular well, than Jay. I don't know about the popularity part, but, but you know, she, you know, she don't, don't need about, Jay. I don't know about the figures. No, I ain't talking about money. I'm just saying like she's a bigger artist than Jay. She's a pop star. Well, why she don't bring Destiny Child with her? She don't need him. <laughs> she can help them out. <laughs> they can't help her. That's what I'm also, saying. That's how I look. Now you get famous and then you don't need me no more. That's how it huh? That's how it is, being black. Yeah. Cool. yeah. <laughs> but, <laughs> hit that lottery, yeah. hit that lottery it's brand new. I'm going. Right. <laughs> this, this, this has been a big question. That's why I wanted to ask it. But I mean, I, I, I like both. Yeah, yeah. Definitely. But, you know. I, I, okay, I, my next question is, you think 20 years from now, people still listen to Beyonce music? Like how they listen to Mike? Yeah. Not all of it, no. No. Okay. Well, you, well, you got you to look at it like this. Mike Music, Go ahead, he's, he's, Go he's ahead. A, I'm gonna break it down to you, he's an icon. Mm-hmm. Music back then meant something and it stick with you. Yeah. Her songs will, certain ones. Yeah, what you gonna Cer- ring, uh, ring alone, whatever that thing, I put a ring on the It finger. will, it will. You ain't gonna hear that no family reunion. They gonna still play that song. They gonna, <laughs> at they weddings. Gonna, they gonna play it at weddings. Yeah, yeah, they gonna play it. That song been out over 10 years. Woman. The other one. They gonna play that. They gonna play Dangerously in Love. Yeah. They gonna play it. Now, it's going to be as much as Mike's? No, because she'll never make a Thriller album. You play the whole catalog with Mike. That's enough? No, she'll never make a Thriller. Yeah. She'll never make it off the wall. Yeah. But she she has great performances. Yeah. And it is, like you said, because she has more props. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When you're doing a concert, it's like a movie now. 
Yeah. They didn't have all that back then. That's the choreography Mike, is different now. And that's what yeah. Michael Jackson thing is in Vegas. It's like a movie. Mike, pretty much, up until Smooth Criminal, he was by himself. Yeah, he was... He was by himself. Sweat, he ain't need nobody else. Sweat and tire. Yeah. That's but like, you go to a Beyonce, Beyonce show, she's singing and, hit, and dancing in heels. She's doing all kinds of stuff. And some of them don't even sing. They use, right... Recording they something like that. They sing song, which is unprofessional. Yeah, they she don't. She sing with the song. No, Mike, they go straight vocals. Yeah, yeah Mike, yeah, you right about that. Temptations, all in the voice. No, he was by himself. You, 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 you had to know how to sing back in the day. Read the Franklin, yeah. all you got to know how to sing. They would expose you. Yeah, you, know it, it, you go to a concert now, which is the big mistake, you sing with the record. Why, 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 would, I, why would I pay you, you yeah. pay to see you yeah. sing to a record that I can listen I can listen to at home? Yeah, you live singing and dancing. Yeah, like, no, you. that's. And you hollering over your own record. Yeah. I could do that myself at the crib. I don't have time for that. Yeah, that's old school. So, old school. Yeah, so the youngest automatically gonna, are going to say, you know, Mike is washed. They were saying that when he was alive and Chris Brown started coming. They were like, oh, Mike is washed. Chris Brown got him, which I thought was crazy. But everybody taking from him. Yeah, it, it, yeah. including Beyonce. Taking from Beyonce, him. Beyonce, B2K, Chris Brown, mm -hmm. Usher. You are children of Michael Jackson. Yeah. All of you. You know somebody asked me the other day? All of you. Somebody asked me, name five new R&B artists. I couldn't do it. I can, I can name um, Bryson Tiller. All right, new, new artist, brand new. He's he's pretty new. Yeah, we'll go with him, go ahead. Uh, Black. Black who? That's, he's new. Check okay. him out, Google him. Okay, go ahead. Daniel Craig. Okay. Um, who else? There's some other guys I can't think of. You right said now. five, I'm give, give me two more. I got three. Give me two more. <laughs> you can't do five. You can't do I got five. A, I got it my phone. You can't do I five. I, can't, I, can't. I can't think of you no can't do five. Right Nobody can. Nah, what's the other? Um, Tory Lanez. That's four. And so That's difficult, huh? Yeah, because everybody sound the same. Exactly. If I looked at my phone, I could find one more. But like, Yo, I'm just talking about off the top. You can't yeah. really come I get, up with I get you. I get you four. Yeah, you can't really come up with But they all sound the same. And they all do sound the same. Yeah. I agree, like all the rappers. Yeah. All mumble rappers, like they got Tourette's in them or something. Okay. I don't understand, they mumble rappers. I don't understand how people support them and buy their music. They're not rappers. 300,000 million views. Yeah, 300 million, no, 30 million. 30 million. <laughs> 30, million views. <laughs> but at the same time, we want their support of the young youth buy their music. And you read their lyrics, yeah. and you don't understand what the heck they just said. It doesn't make sense when you actually analyze their lyrics. Yeah, it doesn't make sense. It doesn't flow. They just mumble, and then we just sing along with them, not knowing what we just repeated. And one day we're gonna do, you know, when we got everything straight. We're gonna do a segment of like R&B song from the past until now, and hip hop song from the past, and now like listen to songs like that has substance, yeah. and play what's popping right now, and and hear okay. the difference. Let me ask you something. That's just good. When you was growing up, you, you listen to a certain song with your uncle or your dad or one of your uh, uncles or one of friends, and uh, they were saying to you like, "Hey, you know," you like, "Hey, listen to this song," and you listen to it. Let's say like Bone Thugs and Harmony, Harmony yeah. versus L Cool J or Biggie yeah. versus L Cool J, uh, Big Daddy Kane. Yeah. So yeah. they grew up listening to that, but when we was growing up, we were listening to you know. Yeah, we're listening to Tupac, Daddy. all the stuff like that. Uh, Tupac. Who was listening to Kane? What are you talking about? Yeah, we're listening to that type of stuff. Okay, but what I'm trying to say is, Who's was it? they saying the same thing? Like, it, well, it, what y'all listening to? The lyrics are, you know are different. The meanings behind music are totally different now than it was back then. Back then, R&B artists and rap artists had meanings behind their songs. It was like a story they was telling. To listen to R&B artists, they went through something. So... <clears throat> Most of them relationship issues, so when you listen to their song, it's something that touched your heart that you was exactly going through at the same time. That's why you listen to that particular song. Let me break it down to you. That is very true. But let me break it down to you what it, what it is. When our parents was trashing our music, it was young. It was still new. Mm -hmm. Remember, rap was supposed to be a fad. Yeah. So anything new, off rip, you're going to think it's trash. Yeah. Rap is now 45 years older. So they didn't know what it was. It sounded it was a bunch of noise. Mm -hmm. They ain't like it off rip. Yeah. Now as time grow on, it's not a fad. It's a number one genre. Mm -hmm. The reason why we're saying what our parents says is a little bit different. It's new to them. It's 45 mm -hmm. years old to us. And when we were listening to, it made sense. 
they have something like you said, like even the R and B song. Like you listen to a dude singing back then, you feel the emotion behind the, the song. Yeah, exactly. Like you felt it. Mm-hmm. Like you really like that that song, Lenny Williams, because I love you. Yeah. He begging her for ten minutes, trying to beg to get her back for ten minutes. You feel it. Like he really messed up. He's trying to get it back. Yeah. There is no song out right now when somebody sing when you feel that same emotion. Like he yeah. really wants that girl. He don't want that girl. You know what he want? He want the attention from other guys in the room. Mm. He don't. Those songs. They made songs to slow dance with girls in the parties. Now, yeah. they make songs to make guys look bad, which I think is weird. Huh? Yeah, it, 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 That's it. what it is. So I heard one of them songs that you played, uh, I think, the two podcasts ago, uh, this morning on the radio. Oh. Which one? The one about if he cheat, then I'm going to go sleep with Tyrone and, and, and Medicine. Michael and all this other mm-hmm. Medicine. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Now, look, you had a song like Simple Woman. Yeah. Karen White. Yeah. She's telling... A story how she feel like she's doing all this for her husband mm-hmm. and he don't appreciate it. Mm-hmm. As a woman, every woman felt that. Yeah. Every she woman. Cooking breakfast for him, doing everything. Everything and he he's like, whatever. You come out with a song talking about if you don't if you do this, I'm gonna do the same thing. They can relate to that too, but there's no substance behind that song. No. Nah. Superwoman is more realistic. But you know, music like that won't won't last so long. Nah. That song will be forgot about in three years. If they that. still playing Superwoman right now. They still playing not gonna cry. Yeah. Those those songs like that typically don't last that long. They like no. one week fade. It's a microwave song. You go through it, mm-hmm. yep, some of that time will go up. It tastes good for ten minutes and then yeah. you just go on to the next an entree. Yeah. And if and then and then fill my and then it gotta touch your soul mm-hmm. and stick to your ribs. And these songs don't. But you think I think one of those songs like that would never make like an album. They just be popular for the time being. It's singles. Yeah. Singles. You, music back then was album, album driven. Yeah. Music now, because the people's attention span is short, mm-hmm. is single. Yeah. That's what they've been like. We don't care about a whole album. Just make hot singles. And then another thing is, back in the days, those R&B and rap artists went on concert when the album was coming out and promoted their whole album on a concert. Now, they promote songs. They don't ever make a concert. Some they, of those people never make a concert. They still do that. They still, they still promote. You look them up, most of those artists don't come down here perform at concerts or go anywhere. They perform perform at local venues, the little local clubs. Yeah, I mean, starting off, you do that. I mm-hmm. saw Kendrick before he was famous. Yeah. Starting off at Revolution. And mm-hmm. the impact that he did back then was crazy. But he had to, like most of them, he had to start off somewhere. But let me say this right here. I think it's not just R&B. Me Maybe personally, I, I listen to a lot of gospel music. And, you know, I went... Do you I, like gospel rap? I mean, you like gospel rap? I like gospel rap. I like gospel rap. I don't like it. Uh, Lecrae, uh, Andy. He's the only one I like. Play. Lecrae. It's a lot of... I get, give it to them brothers. They, you know, they do it. There's certain people I don't listen to. But you like Bank, T-Dog? I don't know who that is. Oh, okay. But let me say this right here because uh, I think that when I listen to gospel music now, mm-hmm. then... Back in the day, and one person who I like to listen to is Mahela Jackson. Okay. The reason why yeah. I listen to Mahela Jackson this right here is because the stuff that she talks about, and she's been through a lot, and the struggle that she, you know, she's went through and everything, you can feel it. You know what I'm saying? And sometimes you need to go back to understand. You know what I'm saying? Go back and know what real music is. Like kids nowadays don't know what real music is because th- this is what they you know know. But at the same time, not to cut you off, at the same time they're not writing their music like <laughs> back in the days. Those people had to write their own lyrics. They didn't have any ghostwriters back in the days. They had to write their own stuff and put out their own feelings towards their music. Even the ones that had ghostwriters, they had something to write about. Yeah. Yeah. Now it ain't about anything about anything. It's about whatever sounds catchy. Yeah. Gucci Gang, Gucci Gang, Gucci Gang. Yeah. What that mean? That's a song. Oh. And what about the Migos with that? What the other? What, they got a new song out now. Narcs or something like that. Yeah, narcos. Yeah. If you pull up lyrics to these songs, like it don't make it don't make sense. Oh, mm-hmm. that's so what I was talking about the mumble rap. You can say whatever as long as the hook is catchy. Yeah. People don't even listen to lyrics. They don't. I if you if you pull up lyrics, you're like, whoa, they said that. That's why you. Hear. <laughs> yeah, like you know what I'm saying. That's why you Y'all don't hear people that? singing hooks. You don't hear them singing the verse no more. Nah, only hooks. That's why a lot of songs I have to stop listening to because a lot of stuff they stay rocking with the devil. Yeah. Yeah, Kanye one time said, like, to love this song. Um, what's the name of that song? Da, na, na, oh, yeah. Eh. Can't get away from up. Oh, I go. Can't tell me nothing. Yeah, can't tell me nothing. Dude yeah. on the second verse said, I know what Jesus died for, but I don't know what side he died for. 
I was like, what? Oh, I can't listen to this no more. No, why not? Why? Because he's just you don't know God. Side, you don't know what side God chose to die for, then I don't need to listen so, to So, so let me ask you something. <laughs> let me ask you something. So, it, it let me ask you something. So, is that kind of like, can you, are you really like um, denouncing God when you say that out your mouth? I think so. Okay. But, but you know what? People who just rapping mm -hmm. and not paying attention to the song, they don't know. So do you think that offends God when you um, say stuff so. like that? Absolutely. So how many people you think is singing that song, singing that part, offending God? Anybody, and they don't even know. Everybody. The ones who know. Mm -hmm. But he knows who know and who don't know. Like it's innocent kids out there who don't know what they're saying, but they're just rapping the lyrics. But me, when I call on to it, I can't listen to that. As much as I love that song. I can't, I don't respect that. Yeah. My next question is, do you think that uh, young kids sell uh, role models that are celebrities and athletes? Oh, that's a good question. You know, Charles Barkley said no. He said your parents should be your role models. And I which totally I, which agree. I agree with yeah. what he says. Yeah. Um, but... To the average kid, you know, like we said earlier, the average person that goes to work nine to five is boring. Mm -hmm. When they turn on the TV, they're watching rappers, they're watching rappers. That's more entertaining. So they're going to like that. TV raised a lot of kids, a lot yeah. of people. Yeah. So, no, they, they're not going to say parents are their role models. Parents should because they're the ones who go out there and work hard for you. Yeah, and I totally but, agree. It's but it's boring. It is boring. To them. Or you look at somebody you never gonna meet. How could that be a role model? That too. A lot of these mm -hmm. kids don't have their parents. Yeah, but then you don't know Michael Jordan. But, but you watch him on TV. But you go back to TV shows like you know, Cosby we, show. we grew up, somebody had a regular job, you know, that was cool, you know, everybody yeah. seen normally get a job you were. Now the fathers on you can't name father fathers on TV that Well now? <laughs> yeah. No, you can't. You no. Can't. Hey, regular I'm not job. Even to the band no, you, there's no fathers on TV. There's no there's no Family structure. No TV James show. Evans. No, yeah. no. Just say what you want. Cosby show. Yeah. That, hell. Oh, uh, what's, what's Winslow? Yeah. He ain't on TV. Yeah. That cop. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? He family ties. It's, there's no black shows like that. Growing pains. There's no shows that have any family structures on the that. The only show that we got now is, is what is uh what's that show called with the Browns? Me, tell me come about, on, man. Meet the Browns. Stop, yeah. Stop. Come on, man. <laughs> Who's that? Who? Oh, we talking about? Uh, what, 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 what's, oh, what's his name, Lady T? Uh, Yo, the bro, you know that dude? Come on, man. Oh, I don't know the dude's name. Come on, man. You know the nigga. Curtis? Oh, come man. on. That, that's a family structure show? Yeah. Come on, man. It is. All right, man. On that note, man. <laughs> <laughs> we out, man. We out, man. We out. Man. <laughs> that's crazy. Again, follow the. What are you talking about? Yeah, too much to drink. Follow the real cat DJ Real Life on Yeah. Um, I'm about to say on Yahoo on YouTube. <laughs> Go to that subscribe button and just hit it and click it when you get a thumbs up. And feel free to comment and leave in and all that good stuff. Comment all that stuff. Real cast on IG. I'm done. TJ, I'm out, man. I said TJ. <laughs> <laughs> you have what? But uh, uh, yeah. Just have a good day. You know, keep God first always. Take care of your kids. Take what? care of your family. Uh, family you know, show. Get that out of here. Showing me the picture going help. <laughs> you know, you uh, three. What he said, thirty million thousand. Wrong. <laughs> I'm gonna pass this over to talk, but you know, y'all stay blessed. <laughs> Go ahead, talk. You got something to say? I'm out, man. You out? All right, real cast, man. We out, man. <laughs>